What is up y'all, it's Ben Jones here, here for the first video I've really ever done seriously on this YouTube channel. But, so I'm here today, it's currently Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. Um, tonight, I'm actually just doing some kind of session prep work. So, tomorrow, I have a buddy, John, Ike Guitar, John Eichelberger, Jake Eichelberger, man of many names. Um, he has a YouTube channel for guitars, great guitar player, great guy, great content. I'll be sure to link his channel down in the description below. I will also link the completed video down in the description below. So, he's coming over, he's gonna video me, he is making a cover lesson type video for his channel. Um, I'm recording drums on it, so that's what this video is gonna be about. It's gonna just kinda be a day in life vlog process, really whatever you wanna call it, just talking about how I record my drums remote, um, all of the gear I use, the day-to-day -day for it, my processes, the playing, all of it, the gear selection, pretty much just an overview of how I record drums remote. So I thought for my first official video for this channel, I would just kind of record and go throughout my day um, and take you through what I do whenever I record my drums remote. So, let's do it. Also precursor, precursor. I don't really know how to be with a camera. So, if you're watching this, you're here for the very beginning of this journey. It's going to be interesting, it's going to be weird. Whatever, I don't care. This is gonna, this is cool for, I love watching videos like this. I find it cool, so hopefully some of y'all will find it cool too and y'all will enjoy it as well. Um, so if there's any weird parts, I'm gonna try to edit them all out, but if you just get over it, we're all humans here, it's whatever. So, I'm gonna go start setting up for this session tomorrow. I'm here now in my drum room, whatever, bonus room, studio, whatever. Everybody calls it something different. Uh, so I'm here now. Let's just set up. So setting up now brings up an interesting point I want to talk about. Versatility. Drum choice. So, as you see here, vertical drum co, 14 by six and a half, black nickel brass drum. This thing is heavy. This thing is not made for a Fleetwood Mac song like we're recording tomorrow. So, snare choice. It, a lot comes down to the snare you choose. I would not use a 14 by six and a half black nickel drum on a Fleetwood Mac song. So, make sure, drummers, if you're watching this, make sure you're choosing the right drums for what you're recording or playing for. Um, we'll get more to what snare I'm gonna use on this video, but just know, pick the right snare whenever you're recording, duh. So setting up my cymbals now brings up another point that I want to use. Kind of goes back to kind of drum choice, but also kind of just versatility in, in general. Cymbal choice, it's huge. There's dark cymbals, dry cymbals, trashy cymbals, effect cymbals, all of these crazy cymbals. They all kind of have their own niche that you want to use them for. For example, this right here. This is a 24 inch Istanbul ride. This is not to be used on everything. 
I tend to use it on everything because it's easy to have in a mix because it's super dead and washy, but not everything calls for this. Along with that, I put these, these 16 inch hi-hats on because these are my babies. I use these on everything. It's actually two crashes, shocker. But I put these on and then remember we're recording a Fleetwood Mac song. I don't need to use 16 inch hi-hats on a, like on a Fleetwood Mac song. So I'm actually gonna switch these out and you'll see what for in a little minute. <laughs> So I've actually decided to use my 14 inch Assemble Exist Hi-Hats. They're a little quicker, a little brighter. Um, they're gonna be just better for a Fleetwood Mac song than two 16 inch crashes would be. So, along with choosing the right snare for recording, make sure you choose the right cymbals because the wrong plates can make or break a session and you don't wanna have like a worship song with like A customs that are tiny and meant for metal, regardless. Use what you have, but also know that different things are used better than others for certain occasions. Okay, so back to snare choice. I showed y'all I wasn't gonna use that huge worship black nickel brass drum for a Fleetwood Mac cover. So, decided to go with the Always faithful Ludwig Acrylite. This drum never fails me. I've used it on so much country, pop, worship, everything. It's great. Uh, I'm gonna use this. It's high and dry and tight. Um, probably gonna throw a towel on it, muffle it some more, but this is the snare I'm using. We're all set up now. Um, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my night. I'll see y'all in the morning and we'll record some drums. What is up? It's the next morning. It is Friday, December 4th. Today is the day we're recording. Uh, it's about 9.45 in the morning right now. Just finished my morning stuff and starting my coffee. I can't have a session day without making your coffee, so I'm gonna do this. Now that I have my coffee made, I can start working. Can't work before the coffee. Gonna go build the session, uh, make sure everything in the session is routed correctly, make sure all the ins and outs are correct, uh, get the click lined up with the song for the cover, and gonna go build that, and yeah. So I'm not set up for the session completely. It's the day of, we are about to start recording. Um, just gonna give you a little rundown of the gear I'm using. Uh, kinda went over this yesterday, but Acrolyte, I put a press snare drum on top of it just to, just to dead it up. 
these are my Ludwig rockers from the 80s. Um, I put a like a towel type thing on both uh, the toms to kind of give that like dead muted vibe. Um, then we got the 14 inch hi hats, 18 inch traditional dark crash, 24 inch ride, 21 inch ride as a crash. Uh, and here's the Pro Tool session. So as you can see, I, it's just super straightforward. I have up top is just the track, then I have the click, and then the 10 channels I'm recording with. And all that is going through two Focusrite Sapphires, uh, which are the Firewire precursor to the 18920s. Um, I prefer these. I think the preamps in these are a little nicer than the Scarlet's. Also, you can find these for a lot cheaper than Scarlet's because they're Firewire. But yeah, so that's what I'm working with. Oh, and then lastly, uh, my ultimate ears, which are my babies. There we go, yep. My ultimate ears, I love those things. They sound great. I use them for session, live, everything. They're amazing. But yeah, so that's the gear I'm working with. And uh, next clip you should see is probably gonna be some recording. The man himself is here. What up? He is making everything look all purdy and pink and such. Yeah, so, setting up right now, we're about to finish that up, and then we're going to start recording, get a bunch of takes, and kind of do whatever he wants, because it's his video. Whatever but I yeah. want, dude, it's mine. Oh, wow, look at you. <laughs> You're so cool. Magic. So we just finished. I'm gonna get in light. Uh, we just finished the shoot. We did a few takes of actual. Few. One take, Ben Jones over here. Just no. Uh, did a few takes and then we did some B-roll as well, f so he can work some video magic, as the youngins say these days. But yeah, uh, everything went smoothly. Uh, I love how Fleetwood Mac doesn't use a metronome. It's um, great. He's the only one. <laughs> it makes playing too awful. But, um, yeah, everything went well. We're tearing down right now. He's taking all of his fancy lights and his fancy tripod compared to my little cute one over there. You'll get there. But, uh. You'll wish you hadn't. So, yeah, we finished the shoot. It took, it honestly only took about an hour. That's quick for a session per se, so. Glad it went well. I will be sure to link the finished video down in the description whenever it is released. I will be linking his channel as well. Go check him out. Anything you want to add, John? When you're a good player, it doesn't take long to shoot a good take. So thank you, Ben, for being amazing. Wisdom from the man himself. Go check it out. Okay, so we just finished recording and packing up and tearing down everything. Um, it was a good day. We got everything done relatively quick. Um, now all I have to do really is just comp some of the takes and bounce it all down and send that to John and then he'll put that in his video. He's gonna do all the mixing on the video. Um, so sometimes I will do processing on the drums before I send them to people. For this instance, I'm not doing any processing because he's mixing it all, um, which is nice because it saves time on my end and also it will make a more cohesive mix in the end of it all. But so now I'm pretty much, I'm just in Pro Tools. 
as you can see right here I'm in Pro Tools I'm going to comp everything bounce it all down and then I'll send that to him in a zip file and he'll have the stems Alright, so I just sent John the stems, they just finished transferring over to him. Um, so pretty much that's it for me, that's all I have to do on this project. I enjoyed doing this, this was a fun video to make, hopefully some of y'all learned some stuff, hopefully it helps some of y'all. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment videos down below that you would like to see. I'm going to start working on putting more content out and videos like this are just a blast to make and hopefully y'all are learning some stuff from it. So be sure to like and subscribe and comment stuff you want to see, comment ideas you have for me. Also be sure to go check out the finished video on John's channel, I'll have it linked in the description below. I also have his channel linked in the description below. Go like, comment, subscribe to him too, he's a great guy. I'm sure there will be more content coming from us together. But thanks for watching this, I will see y'all in the next video.